something more? I have a question, but I don't know if that's if that's even real. How do I win the jackpot? <laughs> well, you see, we love this conversation so much. It's harder to win the jackpot when you want to win the jackpot. For this reason. Now, of course you can win the jackpot. But what makes it more difficult when you have your eye upon the jackpot is that you have an awareness of not winning the jackpot that has your momentum going that way at the same time that you have desire to win the jackpot. In other words, the importance of the conversation that you just gave to us is that since you had no intention that was muddied by belief, there were only engines going this way and that's why things kept up folding in such a positive way for you. So now having a good time with people around the table, getting to know them, having a wonderful time, momentum, 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 nothing going this way, momentum, momentum, momentum. So much so that without any conversation, even you all ended up at the same place, momentum, 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 so much so that you managed to have such good timing that when you walked through and received those tickets, they were the winning tickets, the results of momentum, momentum, momentum. Now let's take the same conversation relative to the jackpot feeling really good, feeling really good, want to win the jackpot. Want to win the jackpot. Why do they call it a jackpot? Because it's hard. <laughs> it's the big win. You see what we're getting at? And so can you feel how in this conversation, even about yourself, that when you want something that you have beliefs about, we know it must seem odd. What we want to say is just let everything wonderful surprise and delight you. Just know that it's in the vortex and just live happily ever after and let the jackpot surprise you. Now, it doesn't have to be that way, but you all try too hard. Our friend says, I'm really trying. I've put a lot of effort in to thinking positive thoughts. But the thing is, when you're thinking about a subject that you have momentum going the other way about, when you activate, it's like the stick that has two ends on it, wanted and unwanted. When you activate that subject, you activate it where it is. And so... How can I win the hard to win jackpot? How can I clarify my unclear mind and win the unwinnable jackpot? <laughs> Engines piling up going in two directions, but I'm living happily ever after. Things are really going my way. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm meeting lots of lovely people. I'm following my bliss. Engines, 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 all going that way, that way, that way, that way. Jackpot. So maybe... Yeah, for sure. What we want to say to you is, let's get clear about what the real jackpot is. The real jackpot is alignment, consistent alignment, and then other meaningful things will appear or be realized by you. Does that make sense to you? So if I'm not focusing anything I want, it's just let it unfold it out and playful. Well, let's be clear about this. You, through life, focused your vortex into being and by wanting to feel good focused yourself into alignment so there is focus but the idea of really thinking about what you want the rule of thumb is if there's some doubt involved the more thinking about it you do the more engines of doubt you add onto the train law of attraction is so annoying <laughs> but it is that way and so if you think about the things that you already feel good about, then the momentum is there, the momentum is there, the momentum is there, the momentum is there. And then you receive the idea. So your timing is good because jackpot is all about timing. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. And timing is all about alignment. It's not about struggle. It's all about timing and alignment. It's all about timing, which is about alignment. So let's take this opportunity to really help you all understand what we just said, because it seems counterintuitive to you since you have been physically focused for a while and action oriented for a while. It seems that if you don't try, nothing happens. It seems that effort makes things happen, but in the vibrational world that is really the dominant world that you live in effort in and of itself implies resistance so anytime 
effort feels required you can be certain that there is some resistance in the mix now if you're talking about pulling a heavy object from one place to another and you're working in a physical example where you want to drag that heavy microphone over to another place especially since it's all taped down then the more effort that you apply to it the more likelihood you would have of dragging the microphone across the stage to another place but we're not talking about physical manifestation we're talking about the movement of energy and when effort is required there is always an indication that there is resistance in the mix and so your work is to release the resistance not to apply more effort does that make sense to you now of course you can apply more effort but then you get all stressed out then you sleep and when you sleep you release resistance and momentum stops so we're just showing you a much easier way don't let this practice you have of efforting translate into energy because it just doesn't work that way it really is for most people a train that way a train that way a train that way a train toward desire a train toward doubt a train toward desire a train toward doubt till you've got this tug of war going on within you and if you could just release those thoughts just release the resistant thoughts then your desire would carry you swiftly so when you think about what we just said to you in this example and then you superimpose it over that night at dinner there wasn't any efforting going on there was no struggle there was no trying to convince anyone of anything there was no work on changing beliefs it was just blissful 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 no resistance in the mix and look what happened so it's the same isn't it nice to have an experience like that that is so vivid and so obvious and that you understand so well and doesn't it seem easy to replicate it again and again and again and again so we have some questions for you do you believe that your jackpot and other wonderful things are in your vortex yes and do you believe that your inner being knows where everything is and the best timing for all of it they do but I would like to be notified you know when to go <laughs> <laughs> yes. so you just said to us I do believe that they know yes. I believe that they know but I would like to be in the receptive mode so that when they're telling me something I hear it mm. so we want you to know we're always notifying you the question is are you in the receptive mode and are you picking up on the notification if you're in an ornery mood you're not if you're worried about something you're not if you're feeling like things aren't working things are impossible then you're not but if you're blissful and playful and open and happy then the impulse calls you just like it did to that table and then from that table to another place you see the notification is always being sent to you the question is are you receiving it and sometimes the notification is not quite yet not quite yet not quite yet look over there instead look over there instead come over here instead come over here instead come over now look boom <laughs> helpful very helpful if Esther will ever want to translate anything into Chinese I'll be available <laughs> seven or eight books already there are you aware of them yes do they make sense yes it would be helpful if you would read them and let her know if those books say what she thinks they say <laughs> <laughs>